Just made it to Hinterweidenthal. I can't wait to meet Angelina's family. Angelina's mom, Jacqueline, is coming to pick us up. We made it after, what, six trains today? Multiple train delays, bus delays, everything they changed us to got delayed and made us mix the next one, but we still made it. Oh yeah, and we didn't have cell service for about 80% of the trip, so. Look at this winter wonderland we're in. These are our walking companions who brought us up here to this beautiful overview in Hinterweidenthal. Wow. <laughs> Birkenblick means birch view. We're staying right down there somewhere, but I don't know where. Katie's still asleep over there, but check out the view out our window for the morning. We have some really fun stuff coming up today, but uh, this place is just amazing. Take two, this time with the mic plugged in. I'm still new to having a microphone. Coffee. <laughs> I don't remember if we told you yesterday just where we are and what we're doing for the next few days. A couple years ago when we first got to Australia, we met some of the nicest German kids. We were on a bus trip from Sydney to Byron Bay and we just kind of gelled and we kept bumping into them in various places along our trip along the east coast of Australia. We became friends and kept in contact ever since. Well, now that we're in Germany, we couldn't possibly think of not stopping by and seeing them. That brings us to Hinterweidenthal. These are the kids that have done our like and subscribe in every video we've done pretty much for the last couple of years. Make the thumbs up and subscribe. It was so cute, we couldn't not put it at the end of our videos. Angelina. This girl invited us to come and stay in Hinterweidenthal with her family. We are staying with her lovely grandparents in their amazing home in this adorable village. And eating some amazing food. Her grandmother can cook. The most amazing local experience I can ever imagine. It's making me remember rapidly why I loved Germany so much when I lived here so long ago. It's making me love it now. And later this evening, Andre, this and guy. Andre is gonna come and uh, visit here. We'll all be together again for the first time since we were in Australia. I think Cairns was the last place we all saw each other. I think you're right. Well, we better get downstairs because they make amazing coffee. A little longer than a few minutes later. This is our Dawn travel crew. Katie. <laughs> Angelina. <laughs> Us. <laughs> These guys are amazing. And it's actually sunny. And this one acts like a two-year-old, but actually is nine years old. This is one of several houses that Angelina's grandpa has either built or is building here. It, the guy's amazing. He's a mechanical engineer. He also has oil, geothermal, and solar going to every one of the houses he built. Oh, and he mills all of the logs and the open beam ceilings. He mills all those himself. Yes. He's yes. really amazing. Yes. <laughs> Lars is the great tour guide rider. He's been telling us all the cool information, all these different stones and walls and cliffs around here have names. The one right there is called the Virgin Jump. Each one has a legend, and there was a, a very sad young lady many years ago who leapt off of that. It's about all the legend I have. But beautiful area. These are the Römer Felsen, we are going up and um, we have a view all above the Felserwald <laughs> of the area here. And didn't you say that word meant something about old people that can't walk? Down there, uh, <laughs> the Rentnerpfad. Rentner means old people that don't work anymore and it's the path of these people. <laughs> That's our path, the retired people's path. Hinterweidenthal, the name of the town, means? In the Willow Valley. Behind the Willow Valley. Oh, behind the Willow Valley. <laughs> Oh, 
We are going right up there. This is the uh, Elvetritsch way. It's a science fiction animal from Dan. Everything is here. Elvetritsch, what Elvetritsch. <laughs> way Elvetritsch. <laughs> it's like a Frankenstein turkey. Yes, it is. <laughs> This is called Castle View. Jacqueline is camera shy. Yeah. Yes, she is. <laughs> These rocks down here, those are the Elvetritcha, those crazy little turkey things. They live down there. We're not going there, just in case. We are so grateful that our friends are showing us all this. We'd have never seen this without them. Gorgeous up here. This area is famous, they've told us, for all of this red sandstone that the hills are filled with. I better catch up and fall behind. This is the highlight of our whole, whole hike, and it's the highest point of our trip. We have to climb to the top. That made absolutely no sense. Did you understand it? <laughs> I think we got it. Okay. We gotta climb those stairs to get to the top. Look at this, it's so awesome. It's because of the rain. <laughs> Our guide. <laughs> the mountains behind there, they are uh, in France. There's France. It's the tallest mountain behind there. It's called the Eiberg. Eiberg. The city here is Dan. Here is Dan. And I need the exercise more. It's starting to rain, so I'm going to put the camera away. Uh, also, it's pretty slippery, but wow. One more look at this amazing view. This is a Gipfelbuch. Um, everyone who is on this stone writes something in the book inside with the name and the, the datum. We're going to put our sticker in it. I have to get the sticker That's off. That's perfect. Perfect. And I'm really turning the camera off because it is definitely starting to rain. <laughs> and look who this is. Hi. It's Andre who is famous from saying, oh, not Andre. Oh, <laughs> I don't remember, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. Put the button. He's right there. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. Put the button down, leave a like and photo. <laughs> <laughs> We got under his head, there we go. <laughs> this is the crew for the evening. It's so awesome getting back together with everybody and our new additions. And so we're six instead of just rolling around four or five. Well, Michelle's not here. We gotta get we gotta get Mikhail for the next trip. We got a funny story about Andre's tattoo. <laughs> Alright. Lo que no te mata solo te hace más fuerte. What doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. When did you get that? Uh, like one year ago, uh, supposed to be four years ago. In Australia? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you decided not to. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because of a little mistake. Andre showed me that a guy in the hostel, I think, right, had written. Uh, no, I saw it on the internet. Oh. <laughs> and he's like, hey, check this, because he was going to get his tattoo. And I thought it was a joke, because what it said was, <laughs> What doesn't kill you only makes you fatter. Oh <laughs> and, and I laughed. And he's like, what are you laughing about? This is a really important thing to me. I was like, we need to talk. <laughs> so now you have your tattoo and it looks awesome. And now we're gonna watch movies and eat chocolate. Peace out. Last night was so much fun catching up and just talking and meeting new people. And today, they are taking us to France, to a Christmas market. Well, you better get out of bed then. No, I still have 20 minutes. It's warm in here. <laughs> Those are German sheep. Third quarter. Now they're French sheep. Welcome to France, Katie. 41. Country 41. This is our host family back here. They're awesome. This is a 700 year old wall. That's really old. How old are you? <laughs> You're young. We are in Wiesenburg. A St. Michael's church was built here in the year 800. 800. 2001. 
<laughs> Torsten is a comedian. This little village is so cute, but the funny jokes going on in this family are even better. <laughs> We're just so blessed to get to have this experience. <laughs> And we have to say that because Torsten said if this isn't the best time we ever had, he's going to leave us here. <laughs> and we don't speak French. Hey Katie, come over here. You can't get past that door without kissing somebody. That's the biggest piece of mistletoe I've ever seen. Who are you going to kiss? Who's ever next to that door? Oh, I'll go by the door. <laughs> First Christmas market in France. Most likely our only Christmas market in France. The old city wall. Hey, this Airbnb is 300 euros a night. I just have to describe this town. It feels like uh, we went back in time because of all the walls and. Because everything's from like the 400s and the 800s. This is a really neat town. Off to find some dinner and who knows? That's true, we don't. <laughs> Catch you later or tomorrow. We will explain this shortly. <laughs> Not Parmesan, Parmesan. Parmesan. The bowl of Parmesans. We cannot go on enough about how amazing Angelina's family has been. They're just taking us everywhere, having the most amazing time. We went and got our boosters today so that we can go out and do even more stuff because they're here in Germany. There's different ratings. If you have your booster, you can go every place. We are checking out the another Christmas market. This one's a, a tiny one. I can't say anything else. He said it perfectly. It's Torsten. We just need to show our pass and then we're in. Ich hol mal drei Kind, also vier Kinderpunsch, ne? This building is a giant advent calendar. This is Kinder Punch. There's no alcohol whatsoever. Better background this way. And it means kids punch. It tastes like a fruit punch, homemade fruit punch. It's really good. It's very warm. <laughs> oh god, the video is all dirty. What am I doing here? Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> Jacqueline's hiding from the camera. Yeah. There you go. That was some amazing pizza, actually, at the, <laughs> the Christmas market. <laughs> Just a wonderful experience. Danke schön. Gerne. Holy crap, check out this city. Leave the thumbs up and subscribe. Oh, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>